I'm John Brown, a senior pastor at Chubbly Hills in United Church of Christ, which is near Boyertown. And I too would like to thank all of you who have turned out today. And thank these two women who just spoke and shared. It took a good deal of courage, I'm sure, for them to begin to deal with those issues in their lives. Always inspiring, isn't it, to see Christians cooperating? Especially on the issue of standing up for the same thing human life. And hopefully a lot of people as we walk along the march uh, there today took notice. Maybe it will be that the uh, cooperation of Catholics and Protestants in prayer and action will contribute to a deeper grasp of the truth and a deeper unity among us. It's kind of a challenging struggle when you think of the uh, cynicism and self-centeredness of our society. Wouldn't it be nice if moral and spiritual wisdom grew as fast as technical knowledge? But it doesn't. And yet, we can be thankful for making progress. Uh, it took, what, 30 years for uh, Reading to have his first March for Life, but hopefully it won't be the last. <laughs> From what I read, it says that the polls indicate that respect for life is gaining ground. And however long it takes and however difficult the task may be, we have to keep on. A word of scripture that stays with me and inspires me is one that perhaps inspires you, but inspired Dietrich Bonhoeffer and those who resisted the inhumanity of the Nazi regime. It's from Proverbs 24, 11, and 12. I encourage you to take it to heart. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. And if you say, behold, we did not know this, does not he who weighs the heart perceive it? Does not he who keeps watch over your soul know it? And will he not requite man according to his work? We know that he will. Another word that has often helped me is the word the Lord gave Joshua following the death of Moses when he took up the task of leading their people to the promised land of Israel. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Be not frightened, either be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you, whatever you do and wherever you go. Today is Pentecost Sunday, as you all know, which reminds us that he who gave these words of scripture, the Lord himself, is also the one who promises each of us the presence of his Holy Spirit, who can enlighten us and strengthen us in the ongoing challenge to be faithful in the noble work of building a culture of life. Let us never give in. Let us never give up. Thank you.